So, on our way to the airport today, had to wait for uh, some bearings to arrive for the nose gear. We've uh, got the tyres and tubes and everything's been uh, been ordered, so let's have a quick uh, little unboxing here. Ooh, looking good. Okay, so we've got all the stuff in there, look at that. All the tubes and tyres, very nice. Look at those little beauties. Yeah. That's it. Looking good. So the new bearings are already in there. Break the bead. There it goes. Look at that. Fire. <coughs> okay, we've got our brake. Two halves here. So you get a paper like this one here, you know, and uh, that's a certificate to say that it's a, a conformance. So where uh, that goes into the pile, there you go. Alrighty, so first thing we do is just simply get some talcum powder, okay, and uh, we just tip that and just work it around the tyre walls, which is pretty important. Uh, the box, which is a Michelin tube, airstrip, very nice, and uh, we uh, put the tube in. Now it's very important to identify on the tyre where this red spot is, because that's where the tyre has been balanced. And uh, that's the location in which you place the uh, um, valve. the valve. Just put that in. Imagine being out at Birdsville or something where I've got a, a flat tire. Uh, of course, we're doing this in a controlled environment. I've got uh, Daryl here who's observing everything I'm doing. Righty. So we've got the tube in it, and I just kind of feel. Now I've sort of done that, okay, a little bit like that, that's all good, that's sort of located approximately where I want it, at the red dot, and that slides around nice, so let's, now I'm going to just pull the, the, the chrome cap off and just place that down there, valve removing tool, I have one in my, in my kit, and uh, it goes on there like that, and then you just unscrew the valve. So that just comes off like that. Like so there you go. So the valve has come out. Just blow that up a little bit. Okay. So we can see that the, the tube has now inflated. We'll pop that down there into the tire and it's just sort of filled the tire up real nice. I don't know if you can sort of see that in there. But you can see that the tire is now not bent or, or twisted. This uh, valve is right on the red dot, so your valve end goes through that part there. There, just past the thread. There you go. So it's a little bit of pressure, not much. So you pop that on there like so, and then you're, whilst holding that, you turn it over and support it a little bit, and then you get this side. Okay and then uh, you get to, uh, that, this uh, section in the wheel there obviously goes over the, uh, <coughs> the valve so if we look inside you can see that's what it looks like like that it's inside the tyre so you have a look over here place that over there like that. this uh, uh, brake disc okay and that goes on the inside, which is obviously on this side because the valve's on the other side. So we'll just apply that and we'll line up the holes. The nut goes on the outside. So these bolts go in through here like this. And it's just a matter then of lining up the first bolt. Tap both sides again. Just get that lined up and there it goes. Right, so each bolt get the washer, the washer goes on first, okay, and then the nut goes on to the washer, gone on nicely, and finally the third bolt, okay, goes through the third hole, okay, very nice, it all fits beautiful, you can feel there's no play in there at all, it's just a beautiful fit, that's a Cleveland wheel for you, don't want to get anything else, Stick with Cleveland and it'll always bring you home. All we're looking for is just a little bit of thread popping out 
the other side of the bolt here because we don't want to do the wheel halves up okay too tight because we don't want to pinch the tube and there's a little trick that we're going to do that uh, Daryl's taught me to prevent that from happening and you won't find that written in any manuals but it's a trick that you learn after years of uh, experience and then of course we're going to just inflate the, the tube a little bit okay so just enough to get a bit of pressure in the tube and um, just to move it so that uh, the tube won't be pinched by the two halves appreciate that you can go on the top one first that one here okay so and it's torqued up to 150 inch pounds so we're just going to torque it up so 150 inch pounds Okay. Mm -hmm. right, tricky, isn't it? Go. Okay, so let's feel that again. So you're doing it up. Now it starts to get tighter and it's becoming firm and firmer. So it's just a bit past firm, if anything. Yeah, so a little bit past firm. Tight. Okay, tight. Yeah, and then of course we get our valve and uh, we place the valve back into the uh, location. Screw the valve back into our new tube. And how tight does that have to be there? Just reasonably tight. Reasonably yeah. tight. So, that, so one of these tools is pretty, uh, pretty important when you're doing this sort of thing. All the time on the time I'm going to inflate it's 26 psi. So we can now safely inflate this tyre with the knowing of the, with the confident knowledge that that uh, that uh, not least, of course, uh, we don't forget to put the uh, chrome cap back onto the tube, and that's just a finger tight thing, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have to get spanners out or anything like that. Just sort of like that's not going to come off. And there you go, got the chrome cap on it. The cap itself is actually a, a secondary stop. So uh, it does have um, a little bit of rubber in here in the event the valve would uh, fail, um, it's, going, it's going to uh, hold the pressure in the tyre. But with the nose wheel, of course, it's, a, it's an identical process. You've got to the, the, the place in which you put the, uh, um, uh, the valve, You've got your red marker on the tyre, of course, and all the tyres have got that. Um, and you've got your two halves, and this part here goes in there. The only difference between, obviously, the nose wheel and the main wheel is that you don't have your brake disc to install. Well, this gets a washer on both ends. Another thing that the, uh, the tyre will do when you inflate it after you've done those nuts up, as we described before, uh, was that it will seat the bead as well for you. So. Okay, so there's a bit of a squall coming through at the moment and I thought I'd just go out the front and have a look to see how all those aeroplanes are going out there. You can hear it hitting the roof. Holy cow, look at that, eh? A bit sunny now. Space of first. Okay. That goes on there. Space of first. Right. Yeah. On. So 
so yeah, sort of finger tight really on that. You've got to bed the bearing. Yeah, right. And then come back. Oh, right. Otherwise the wheel will work loose. Yeah, right. Okay, so you can get, see how that, you can feel it? Yeah. So you can feel yeah. that bit of drag now? Yeah. Yep. That's what you want, a little bit of drag. A little bit of drag. And right. no movement like that. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Right, so yeah. you don't want any movement. It's totally solid. And you want it solid. Yeah. And always a good thing while you've got it here to just check, make sure your legs tight. Yeah. Too long. Yeah. You just bend that leg back that way. Right. And get it out of the way so you don't cut yourself. Well, just you got to have both legs bent to lock, lock it properly. Oh yeah, right. Right. So that's. But you don't want to bend it back into. Into the into, into the, that shim the behind seal, you. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you've trimmed off enough. So that you, that leg is not gonna make a impingement on that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's clear. Like that. Okay. Nice. With that, facing towards the disc. Right. Yeah. Like that. Try not to bend this too much because it's a solid line. Yeah. Otherwise you just fracture it and yeah. then you bug it with the brakes. You might get a new job. Yeah. When you take that one again, yep. placing that towards the other side of the bus yep. disc. Insert that one in there. Like that. Yeah. Doing that reasonably firmly. Yeah. And that's a 7 16th, isn't it? Yes. All the stuff on here is 7 16th. Mm, pretty well on the wheel, yeah. Yeah. Except for the big nut. Yeah. Now, once you've got these tight, and you do this while it's still in the air for a reason, particularly when you fit new pads. Yeah. Because sometimes. Not always. Pads can... Pads can grip. Yeah. And you know those expensive shims you were talking about? Yeah. That's when you've got to get them. And that's also why you spin the wheel before you do them up. Because see that? Yeah. That's actually not too bad. The dragon a little bit.
geez, they weren't looking as good as that when they uh, when we brought it in. And we tuck that in so nobody can stab themselves with it. Yeah, that's a nasty thing. All right, nice. That is a piece of art. Very nice. Holy cow! Now my turn. Yep. So we get the valve on the left hand side of the aeroplane if we can. Okay, and we do that. Lift it up. There it goes. Okay, so I hold the bottom of the wheel here, might be a better idea. And then I'm able to, to sort of locate that into there like that. Look at that. And it sort of all sort of falls into place. Come around here a bit. Have a look. There we go. In this side. And we'll just stick that straight through the guts of the, the axle and make that fit on there. We need to locate that nut there into this thing. Right, so I'm holding it firm. That all looks pretty clean and tidy. This actual axle does not rotate. So uh, I've just located that nut into there. A washer goes over the top of that. And there, like that. And then this bolt goes in to the washer is to just do that up like that holding another spanner on the other side the socket and uh, what are we doing this up to you keep spinning the wheel yeah until the wheel just see how it spins freely now yeah keep going now see how it just oh. tightened up then yeah Let's have a look. It's bedding your bearings down. Oh, bedding the bearings down. So the, once the, the bearings have been bedded down, we release it off a bit so the wheels can freely can, spin. But it's only if you do it up to a point where it doesn't turn anymore or turns too tightly. Yeah. Too loose. No, you don't want it oh. too loose. Uh -huh. Because if that? you have it too loose with fresh grease, remember that grease is going yeah. to spin out. Yeah. Particularly today, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold. That's part of the reason why you've got a lot of drag. Yeah, right. But if you can turn it like that, and normally if you can do a half to three quarters of a turn, you're pretty right. That one's a bit slow, but it's a very cold day and it's got That's true. Grease. The temperature out here today is about about nine degrees nine, in here. Is that? In here, yeah, yeah it's all right. Check it like this to make sure you have no no play. No play. No play. Oh, yeah. play in the wheel. No, no play at all. 